All right. Deontay Wilder, breaking news, is a very, very rich man. Just broke into Forbes top 100 highest paid athletes, joining Canelo Alvarez and Anthony Joshua as extremely high, well paid boxers. And he did it by betting on himself. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back subscribers. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the share button. Definitely check out the live streams we do every morning, Monday through Friday, right around 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, noon Eastern Time. Also check out OG Boxing Talk that we do every Saturday morning, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Check out the Patreon as well. We got really good stuff up there. Dang, about to fall off my chair. All right, let's get into it. Deontay, 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 man. What a big difference two years makes. What a big difference two years makes. Deontay Wilder has made Forbes list of the highest paid athletes in the world. He comes in, debuts, I do believe, at number 56 uh, with $30.5 million earned in the last 12 months from June to June. That is behind only Anthony Joshua, who is at $55 million. $45 million, according to Forbes, was earned through boxing. $10 million in endorsements. And then, of course, the big horse in the boxing money game, Canelo Alvarez, at number four, with $94 million earned, $92 million coming in salary, and $2 million coming from endorsements. So yeah, that is a, that's a whole lot of money, man. That's a whole lot of money. It's a whole lot of money for Canelo, whole lot of money for Anthony Joshua, and a whole lot of money for Deontay Wilder. And I have to tell you, man, I'm very, very happy for him. I know that this is what you call a pocket watching type of video, but it is what it is. And I think that the reason why it's important to talk about it is because of the path that Deontay Wilder took to get there. Deontay Wilder is on this, le on this list is as close as you could say to being a self-made man. Just last year, when Deontay Wilder was trying to get a fight with Anthony Joshua, there was so many people talking about how Deontay Wilder needed to sign with Eddie Hearn or needed to sign with a promoter because they weren't doing a good enough job. Uh, he, you know, that the people that were with him weren't doing a good enough job promoting them. They weren't selling them. You know, nobody knew him in the streets. All of that stuff that was being said about him. Now, people with... Um, you know, com common sense knew that that wasn't the case with Deontay Wilder because that, you know, because we knew who he was, right? We knew that he had fans. We knew that he was an exciting fighter, that he's a good fighter, obviously, because of, you know, the fact that he's defended his title so many times and he's a long reigning heavyweight champion. But also many people in the LDBC, uh, many people in new media were also talking about how he was in control of his own career. While many people were throwing in his face how little money that he was making. Now to see that in just two fights, that he pulled in $30 million in just two fights, tells you that he was right in betting on himself and could give you an idea about why he would listen to the advisors that he has. He now finds himself in a situation where he is, his popularity has grown tremendously. I do believe that ESPN had him as one of the most famous, the, I think the most famous boxer in the world at the moment, right? He is, he debuted, he had his pay-per-view debut be successful with 325, that's the low, I believe that's the low number. I'd heard 400, but whatever it is, a successful pay-per-view with, with Tyson Fury at, might I add, $75 uh, 
purchase, okay? There are people that came to my comment section saying, hey, if I called Anthony Joshua's 403,000 pay-per-view buys on the zone of flop, then Deontay Wilder's 325 or 350 have to be a, considered a flop as well. No, it is, if you sell one Porsche, one Porsche, I think that's what you call it, one Porsche for $200,000 is worth significantly more than one Toyota Corolla that you paid 20,000 for, okay? Or two that you paid 20,000 for. And that's the case with those pay-per-view numbers. And then you also have to take into consideration that he is his own promotion, promoter. So not only does he get his purses, he also gets by cost avoidance and all other kind of deals that who knows what they're cooking over there at the PBC. He also gets more money because he's not, he doesn't have a promoter. He has to pay his manager, He's got to pay his trainers, right? I'm sure he's got to pay his advisor, but he doesn't have to pay a promoter. But regardless, this is not saying that Deontay Wilder is making as much money as Anthony Joshua is. That's not my argument. I'm saying that Deontay Wilder is making more than every other boxer in the last eight, in the last 12 months, made more money than every other boxer on the planet who was not named Canelo Alvarez or, or Anthony Joshua and he did it by himself. He did it betting on himself by taking on tough fights and through having those tough fights, catapulted himself, not only as far as his name recognition, but catapulted himself in his mon by the monetary rewards that came as a result. And that's the way it should happen. He's the real deal in the ring. He's the real deal out of the ring. He's got a very, very good personality. And now he has the consistent results that have put him in the position that he's in and to boot he didn't just get knocked out by Andy Ruiz <laughs> if y'all didn't think I was going to throw that in there you don't know me okay we pay we play for team petty uh at least one weekend out of the month okay I will play pay play with team petty shout out to best fight the best once a month. Other than that, I try to keep it pretty high brow, but not in this particular situation because you guys talk too much. So, hey man, Deontay Wilder has arrived. Now, if there was still some argument, and I guess this makes it kind of anticlimactic because there isn't any argument anymore about who the A side in every negotiation going on in the heavyweight division that's Deontay Wilder. It is now. From every cornball type of argument that has been made in uh, in relation to that. Deontay Wilder will earn a career up five times his career high payday if he makes $15 million. That's five times his career high payday. Isn't that the fee that was offered to him for the Anthony Joshua, the Anthony Joshua flat fee? When Deontay Wilder wound up turning that down and going on ahead and fighting Luis Ortiz, isn't that what was offered him? $15 million? People are crazy. Well, he actually did accept it, but people acted like he didn't accept it. Hey, Deontay Wilder just made that over the lat in both of his last two fights. I'm not sure how they come up with the number and not quite honestly, it's Forbes. So I'm, you know, we don't know exactly how accurate any of these numbers are. The 94 million for Canelo, the 45 million for, or the 50 for Anthony Joshua, and the 30 for Deontay Wilder. We don't know how accurate that is, but we'll just go on what was reported. And one more than likely is as accurate as the other. Uh, Deontay Wilder's number is as accurate, has every reason to be believed to be as accurate as Anthony Joshua's. And Anthony Joshua's, we have every reason to believe or no reason not to believe that it is as accurate as Canelo Alvarez's, right? And Canelo Alvarez is as accurate, accurate as Deontay Wilder because, hey, it's all from the same, it's all from the same source. So look, it's time now to go ahead and fess up that we know who the king of heavyweight boxing is. The, I don't care what, uh, 
what Top Rank has to say, or excuse me, ESPN has to say, not ESPN, I don't care what Ring Magazine has to say about Tyson Fury and Tyson Fury being the number one heavyweight in the ring. He's not the number one heavyweight in the ring. Deontay Wilder's the number one heavyweight in the ring. As far as the established champion, Deontay Wilder's the longest reigning heavyweight champion. So he's the number one champion as well. And now, as far as earning potential, he's firmly up there as the number two moneymaker in the heavyweight boxing, the number three moneymaker in all of boxing, which means that, and he's doing it without, without a, pro, a major promoter pushing his name. He's pushing his name on, on his own word, on his word of mouth, the word of mouth of dedicated fans of his, and also on his performances in the ring, the spectacular style that he has that attracts people to want to watch him, and the consistent and repeatable results that you get, you've been getting for him for years now. So, Congratulations, Deontay Wilder. Just wanted to put that out there. Hey, man, my man is doing a great job. Also, congratulations to Anthony Joshua on making that money. I hope you don't you stop listening to Eddie Hearn and count every penny because I'm quite sure that dude is walking off with more than he deserves. Anyway, it is what it is. And with that, I'm out. Share, like, and subscribe. All that good stuff. Peace.